we getting? What are we getting? We're getting cheese. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Well, they got shopping. So, no, we need some cheese. It's over here, Cam. Okay. Come here. Come on. This is what we need. We need, I think I want, we want to get this one or this one. Queso de frío. And then we need some sachichon. That one. Boom. What are we making tomorrow? Or today? Yes. Yes. a traditional Dominican breakfast mango. Um, first you will need, well, what you would need what is your onions, your platanos, and your cheese. And your sausage. And first you just have to cut up your platanos. It's the same technique as our last video. Cut the edges, then cut the skin. But since these are hard, they're going to take a thousand years to peel. <laughs> and I will see you when I am done. Now that our platanos are all peeled, we're just going to cut them in half. One, two, three, four, five. Oops and six so now make sure you have a boiling uh, a hot pot of water and um, once it's all hot just put your platanos in just make sure not to burn yourself because I was about to burn myself <laughs> Mama, guess what? Chicken butt. You know, <laughs> um, I'm kind of thirsty. Yes, well, guess what? We forgot our Goya juice. Let's <laughs> get a sip of that thing now. <laughs> you want a sip? I will. Y'all can't see this in camera because I haven't combed my hair yet. Okay. So, but it's bomb. <laughs> you want to boil your platanos for about 20 minutes or until they're soft. And don't forget to sprinkle a little salt for that pizzazz. Yeah. Almost done to perfection. <laughs> so now, okay, so our platanos are all like soft. I'm going to set aside 100 milliliters of water in my measuring cup. And you're gonna need the water for your, what do you need for, your texture. <laughs> so all you have to do now is strain it. And you'll see what that looks like in two seconds. <laughs> Mangu mashing time. Yo. So what you will need is a spoon, some butter, milk, and your potato masher, one second, one second. Potato masher. Okay, so first we're gonna pour in one tablespoon of water. Just gonna put a little more. So now we're gonna mash. It's gonna be a pain in the butt because these are very, very hard. Not hard in platanos, but like, like, yeah. We cooked them, but yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> so now we're gonna take a spoon of our butter. Oops. And now we mash. We do the monster mash. The monster mash. 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 <laughs> mash. 
I can't wait to see what it looks like. It's gonna look good. Check pictures online. And those pictures online are gonna look exactly what we're making. Oh, tell them. Tell them, child, tell them. Okay, now. <laughs> okay, you're gonna need. <laughs> oh, wait, cam step. Okay, go. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna need to add, as you go, some butter and milk. And all you have to do after, well, add your butter and then, you know, mash. And then add your milk and then mash, okay? Make sure to follow the directions. Cause I know some people that just watch three minutes of the video and they just make something. I did that. That's how I messed up the acapurias. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize you were back. Okay, so okay, so now our um, our platanos are all mashed. If you want them really creamy, then just add more water. At no, add more milk. And if you don't want if if you don't want them like creamy, then don't add a lot of milk, but add milk. Okay. So now we're just gonna pull up our salami. And we will start by putting our Goya oil, corn oil. Uh, <laughs> and start by putting it in our pan. I'm like eyeballing it because I don't want to put too much and it'd be a pool of oil and everything just turns out greasy. Cause that's what Gordon Ramsay likes. He doesn't like anything greasy. <laughs> Name dropping. It's <laughs> time for pepper cheese. You, I'm gonna be using my queso toprica uh, frying cheese. And um, I set a, a, bowl, a bowl of flour for my cheese. Now we're just gonna cut. You know, I just realized that was a little too thick. <laughs> Voila! I cut the cheese. -ching. <laughs> so, all you're gonna do is take your sliced piece of cheese and just put it in your flour and make like a thin layer of flour just so that when you're frying, it doesn't melt to the pan. Yeah. And then just keep on doing that for your all all your pieces of cheese. It's probably gonna take a little bit. It's all right, we got time. A lot of time. <laughs> it's only 5.08. And usually we start a video at like eight o'clock at night. We're getting better. Yeah, we are. Yeah. The we first video only took us 11 hours of editing. It's totally okay. Yeah, very, very <laughs> okay. In camera world, you're gonna be done breading that cheese in two seconds. Voila! Look at our cheese is all floured. So make sure to get your oil nice and hot and we will start frying. Woo! Yup, okay. <laughs> For now, we are about to fry. Let's come over to our oil. And kids, if you're watching this, Stay safe when you put your thing, when you put anything in the oil, basically, because you could burn yourself and get hurt. It's first. Yes. And make sure not to cook on high, because then, yeah, things will burn. Especially if you don't watch your food. Wow, come here. Look at that. It's already getting crunchy right there. Mm -hmm. So quick. You want to get your cheese till it's nice and brown, not burnt, okay? Now it's time to cut up our onions. But first, I'm going to do a cam ship. Do, 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 do. Make sure to, you know, breathe through your mouth because earlier I was cutting onions and I started crying and it'll help reduce all the tears from coming out. So first, you just have to cut the edges off. 
Okay. Okay. Now that our edges are cut off, you just gotta peel off the skin part of the onion until it gets like that darker purple, and then you're all good. You're all good. No llores por mi. Don't cry for me, Cam. I forgot to breathe through my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to help you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not funny, though. It actually, like, it hurts. All right, all right. Next cut, Mama's gonna help. Mama to the rescue. No. <laughs> no? Nope, I'm good. All right, Mama not to the rescue. Okay, so we're gonna cut it like this. No, we're not. We're gonna cut it like this. <laughs> I have no clue how to cut onions. Like, no clue. <laughs> it's all right. I got you Our right onions now. Onions are cut. Thank you, Mom. Because, you know, these things were making me cry a lot. So, we're just gonna saute our onions in our pot. And you're just gonna put them in your pot. Okay, guys, I'm back from my onion recovery because I've been crying for like 20 minutes. <laughs> so we're just going to cut our campesino into thin slices, not thick slices like we did with the cheese. So just, you can eyeball how small you want them to be. And if you want them thicker or thinner, it just depends on how thick you make them or how thin you make them. If you want the... If you want them thicker, then you have, might have to cut it a little. You have, might have to cook it a little longer. But if you want them thinner, they might take a little bit shorter. And don't forget to check out my other videos, please. Thank you. <laughs> Slice. That's a thick piece of sachi chong. That was a good one. All right. <laughs> That's your cutting face. Where's your cutting face? <laughs> okay. So. I want you guys to hear something real quick. You hear that sizzle, that nice sizzle. You want to make sure that you get that nice sizzle. And don't drop it in like I just did, because that really hurts. <laughs> so. Ow! <laughs> Safety, young man. Safety matters. That should be our quote. <laughs> Your next apron. Yep. Safety matters. Can I have a, yeah. Like a little red plus sign on it. <laughs> 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 okay, so, we're just going to start by putting some oil and vinegar. And we already put that in. So, all we have to do is, you know, just like... Yeah, mix it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that hurt a lot. A lot, a lot. And make sure not to put your thing very high or you will get popped in the face by oil. And it hurts. Beware. Thank you for watching Cooking What Camp featuring this guy. Make sure to like, subscribe, tell y'all friends to tell their friends and we'll all be friends and thank you everybody for you know liking subscribing and commenting and happy seasoning bye bye peace